Hi everyone! Today I'm going to take time to play with my gouache. So I finally got around to get some M-gram gouache to compare them with the Winsor Newton that I already have that I really like. But this one I heard uh, stays moist a lot longer and so um, since I'm used, um, I'm familiar with this brand, I've got some oil and watercolor paint uh, from M. Graham. It's a really good brand. Um, I thought I'd try. Uh, it's very good quality and it's um, they use honey for their binder and that's the reason why it stays moist longer. I also got a another Winsor Newton a flesh tint because why not? I think it's gonna save me time because today I want to try to paint a portrait. I'll be painting a portrait of Mickey, otherwise known as Malmick Art, here on YouTube. And I'll put a link to her channel in the description box below, and I will talk to you about it in a few minutes. Before I get started, I want to talk paper. I'll be using the Stillman & Burn sketchbook, which is uh, a tone, it's a gray paper. And it's about 90 pounds. It says uh, 150 GSM. Um, it feels it's about 90 pounds. I'm comparing it with the uh, Strathmore uh, tone paper that's 80 pounds and feels slightly thinner. This is much smoother than this one. You can feel a little grain on this one. Um, it's considered heavyweight and it's heavyweight and it says it's for dry, media, and light wash and ink. I think it'll work fine for gouache. I haven't tried this one yet for gouache, but I've used um, ink and it buckles a little, but it's really not too bad. Um, the last the, the last gouache painting I did was on this tone tan from Strathmore, and it's the mixed media, and this one is 184 pounds. This was really, really good because it didn't buckle at all. Um, it, it worked really well. I, ve I really enjoyed it. Um, I need to figure out if they have sketchbooks with this paper because that would be nice. Uh, but another one I will have to try is uh, the Stonehenge. Um, it's a cream one, but um, they do have a craft one, which is um, it's much darker than a, a bit darker than this one. But it's it's nice and thick. Stonehenge usually is nice and thick. It actually almost feels a little thicker than the St Stillman and Burn. Ah, yeah. So it's, it's it's thicker. It definitely feels thicker. I think this would work well, uh, also for gouache. But anyway. Um, this one is is a brand new series by uh, Stillman and Burn. It's the Nova series. It comes in gray, in tan, and in black. I've already uh, done a little video on my smaller uh, black sketchbook, which I really liked. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, start doing a portrait on this one, and we'll see how I like it. Hopefully, it's gonna be thick enough that it's not gonna buckle. If not, um, well, we'll find out soon. Okay, so back to Malamic Art. So Mickey and I are both on the Sketchy app where we can find some reference photos to uh, draw and paint. We both unknowingly had decided to paint each other and she was faster than me. I, one day, by chance, I found on her YouTube channel a video of her painting me and I was really surprised kind of bummed because she did it before I did hers. But anyway, I thought it was pretty funny. And uh, so here's finally my painting of her and I hope uh, she likes it. I highly recommend you guys to check out her YouTube channel. Uh, she seems to like to, uh, to paint a lot of uh, watercolor portraits and uh, she does a beautiful job. Um, I like that she likes to, uh, to try lots of different things and uh, she's not afraid to challenge herself. So check it out. Again, I'll put a uh, link in the description box below. 
Let's talk a bit about the M gram gouache now. Um, I didn't really find much of a difference between that brand and the uh, Winsor & Newton uh, designer gouache. Uh, other than when I squeezed it out of the tube, it was um, not as pasty, I guess, as the Winsor Newton brand. Uh, but as I was painting, I really didn't see any difference between the two. I used whatever color I needed without really paying attention which brand I was using. And I must say that they both work very well and I'm happy with both. Um, they're both very good quality and are light fast. Uh, some of the Winsor Newton uh, colors aren't as light fast, um, but you know you can. They have such a big variety that you can go through the list and figure out the ones you want. The M Gram Gouache doesn't have as many colors, but since you can mix the two brands, then you can uh, mix and match and find all the colors that you need. So I really like both brands. Uh, I probably would stick with the uh, M gram because there's a tiny little bit more in each tube and the price is uh, cheaper. So it makes sense to me to get to get that one for the same results. Now for the Stillman and Burn Nova sketchbook, I must say I really like the texture of the paper. It has a nice fine grain um, and it kind of feel vel velvety to me in a way, or it looks like that. Um, I can see the texture through my many layers of gouache and I think it looks very pretty. However, it's probably a bit too thin for my technique at least. Uh, keep in mind that I'm a very, very beginner uh, with gouache and I might just put too much water. I'm not sure, but it did wrinkle and was um, a bit annoying at first. But as I was applying more and more layers, it get easier and less wrinkly. If you're not using too much water, it's great. Um, you'll see if you look on the other side of the paper, you'll see the, um, the buckling of the paper. So you can't really use both sides if you're going to use a uh, wet media. Uh, but other than that, I really like it. I'm probably going to stick with uh, dry media for this paper though. Uh, colored pencils most likely. Um, but I, I like this paper. I really do. Um, for gouache, I'm gonna stick with either watercolor paper, at least 140 pounds, or um, I tend to like the uh, Strathmore mixed media uh, tone paper. And I did check and they do have sketchbooks with that paper. So I'm very excited and I probably will get some eventually. So um, that's it for the paper. As I mentioned before, I'm a gouache newbie and so uh, the way I'm using it, I'm, I'm not quite sure. There's not a particular technique. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Uh, I must say I had a great time and I, I'm falling in love with this medium because it's so forgiving. If you make a mistake, just go over it with, with more opaque paint and, it, and then it covers it all. Uh, I like how I can blend everything the way I like it. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. I really like it a lot. So I'm going to keep using it because it's one of my new favorite mediums. Mickey, I hope I didn't distort your face too much. <laughs> I'm sorry if I did. Um, the way the picture was, I know you. I, I, I kind of got your body a bit wrong. I'm going to have to fix the way the dress goes into the shadows in the back because I stopped it right there and it kind of looks weird. Um, but I will fix that um, and um, that's it. I had a great time and I like that picture. I'm glad I got over your your curly hair. Uh, very pretty hair. It's just the pain to, uh, to paint when you're not used to it. Um, but it was fun and a great challenge and I liked it. I'll see you soon. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Bye bye.